Good morning from everyone at the Florida Center for Reading Research. I'm Nathan Archer, Director of Communications at the Center. Since 2002, FCRR has sought to improve reading through research, innovation, and engagement. I'm here today to share and discuss our Student Center activities. The Student Center activities are fun, play-based activities that focus on five areas critical to growing children's reading skills. Phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. The activities are designed to strengthen your child's reading skills, whether they're in kindergarten all the way up to fifth grade. The activities are free, easy to use, and best of all, they're all based on evidence from reading research. We're going to take a look at a few of these student center activities in action this morning. Up first is Florida Center for Reading Research Associate Director Nicole Patentary with her son Jaden as they play Brown Bag It. Good readers know that letters map onto the sounds in words. So, in this activity, Nicole helps Jaden match letters to their sounds. Let's take a look. So you got your scissors, right? And we got a magazine, and we have some letters from the board. Can you tell me what letters they are? U, D, U, N, J, I mean, D, J, N, R, I, T, W, and U. Good, do you know what sound they make? Like what sound does this letter make? D. And what sound does that letter make? What sound does that letter mean? I. And. And. It says it. So it says I and it says it. And what about that one? It's T. Yeah, what sound is it? Very good. T -t -t. Can you do it? No, that's not right. It's but but I, but I can do like the up. Uh. Yeah, but then they're not saying t. You're singing it, but you're not saying t. There we go. So now look, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna look at our magazine. You know what's this magazine? It says Essence, that's the name of the magazine. So we're gonna look for pictures, and look for pictures where, of things that start with these sounds. And if they do, you get to cut the picture out, and we're gonna see if we can find a picture for each one. So, for example, let's turn the pictures and see what we see. I see a clock. That's not a clock. What's that? Um, it goes on your wrist. So it's a, a watch. A watch. Does any of your letters start with what's that? What sound does watch start with? W. Mom, I'll cut it okay, out. Okay, you can cut it out. What sound does it start with? That's the letter. But what sound does it make? It it makes woo. Watch. Very good. So can you cut it? You can cut from the top. Okay. You don't have to do perfect cuts. There you go. Great matching, Jaden. All you need are scissors and old magazines, and your family can brown bag it too. Next up is FCR researcher and assistant professor Lakeisha Johnson with her daughter Maya as they play Rhyme House. Good readers know that words are made up of sounds, so in this game, Lakeisha helps Maya build her awareness of sounds and words. Let's take a look. Hi everyone. Hi. Today we're doing an activity called Rhyme House. So we have three copies of this little Rhyme House, and what we're going to do is we're going to work on some word families. So we have three different options. The first is the an word family. So what picture is this? An. Okay, put it all together. An. An. Fan. All right, so that's one of our word families that we're going to work with. Then we have the ug family. Ugh. I know, that's a bug. <laughs> ug. Okay, and our last word family for our last copy of our rhyme house is at. B at. B at. So Maya, your job is you're going to look at each picture. We're going to sound them out with the first sound and then the word family at the end. And then you're going to put them on the rhyme house that it belongs with, okay? So what's our first picture? Cat. Okay, so let's break it apart. 
at. at. Okay, that goes with the at family. So can you find the rhyme house it belongs to? Perfect. How about this one? What is it in with? Let's break it apart. Can. Okay, can. So which word family does it go with? Does it go with fan? Okay, add it to the rhyme house. The rhymes are the ending sounds. How about this one? It's good, so let's break it apart. At. At. All right, put it where it belongs. This one is a funny one. Slug. Slug. Which one does this belong with? Okay. Well, that's one of a, a type of bug. It is a type of bug. You're right. And I don't like, that's why you put it a bug. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One last one. Mug. Mug. All right. Which word family does it belong with? Perfect. And then you just keep going with the rest of your cards until you get them all in your rhyme house and have them all full. Way to go, Maya. Just by playing with sounds and words, Maya is well on her way to being a strong reader. Now let's watch FCRR researcher Jennifer Dombeck with her son Lucas as they play front or back. Good readers also know that words are made up of parts that help us understand what they mean. So, in this game, Jennifer is helping Lucas identify parts of different words. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got some lists of words here. Um, the first thing I want you to do is um, go ahead and read through each of the words out loud so we can make sure we know what all the words are, okay? Okay. Can you start here? Paint, possible, behave, art, agree, school, cheer, able, sense, tender, call, child. Very good. Okay, so you've got a stack of cards here, and those cards have either a prefix or a suffix on them. So you're going to turn them over one at a time and read it out loud, and then we're going to see which word we can place it with to make a real word. Okay. And so you'll place it on a word to either give the word a prefix or a suffix. Okay, go ahead with the first one. First word is vent. Agreement. What's the word? Agreement. Okay, so here is meant a prefix or a suffix? Suffix. Okay, good. Go ahead and try the next one. Next word is un. Ooh, I'm trying the other one because. I feel like it might be unagree. You feel like it might be unagree? Mm-hmm, but... Okay, well, why don't you see if there's another word it could also fit on. Yeah. Unbehave. Have you heard that word said before? Um, yes. You have? I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure about that one. Let's see if there's a better place for it. You want to try reading it with each word and see how it sounds? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Read it with this. Un. Unpaint. Unpossible. Unbehave. Unart. Unagree. I think it's that one. Unschool. Uncheer. Unable. Oh, so what word did that make? Unable. And is on a prefix or a suffix here? So oh, prefix goes prefix at the beginning, mm -hmm. and a suffix goes at the end, so that's a prefix. Go ahead and try another one. Next word is... Ist. Ist. Artist. Okay, what word did you say? Artist. Okay, and is, is the prefix or suffix here? 
It's a per suffix. It's a suffix. Su okay, go ahead and try the next one. Next word is miss. Misbehave. Good. And is miss a prefix or a suffix? Prefix. Okay, go ahead and try the next one. Next word is ness. Tenderness. Good. And is ness a prefix or suffix? Suffix. Okay, go ahead and try the next one. Next word is non. I mean, yeah, no. Non. Nonsense. Nonsense. Is that a prefix or suffix? Prefix. Okay, try the next one. Good job. Next word is ish. Read the word. Childish. Have you heard that said before? Yeah. Yep, that's a real word. So is ish a prefix or suffix? Suffix. Okay, how about the next one? Next word is im. Im. Im impossible. Impossible. Is im a prefix or a suffix? Prefix. Good job. Let's do the next one. Next word is er. Er. Painter. Okay, and is er prefix or suffix? Suffix. Good job. Try the next one. Next word is full. Full. Cheerful. Cheerful. And is full of prefix or suffix? Suffix. Okay, go ahead and try the next one. Re. Re. Recall. Recall. And is re a prefix or suffix? Prefix. Okay, try the last one. The last word is pre. Pre. Preschool? Mm -hmm. Good job. And is pre a prefix or suffix? Um, prefix. Good job. Nice work. Thanks. Good job, Lucas. Even older kids like Lucas, who know how to read, can keep growing their reading skills. He'll need them when he starts to read novels like Harry Potter and Percy Jackson. Let's watch one more video of FCRR researcher Carly Willis with her daughter Isla as they play contraction bingo. Just like Lucas, Isla knows how to read, but as she gets older, she'll come across lots of different kinds of words, like contractions. Games like Contraction Bingo will help her use her vocabulary to build her knowledge of all kinds of words. Let's take a look. Okay, we're going to play Contraction Bingo some more. And the first card that I got was I have. I have. So when I put those words together, I get I've. The contraction I've. Do you see it somewhere? No. I've. Let's see, it's going to have an I first. There you go. I've. So I have put together is I've. Now you go. Okay. Tell me what words you got. Lay it down. Let us. Let us. So when we put let us together, we get? Let's. Let's. Let's see if I have let's. Do you have let's? No. Do I have let's? Yes. Where? Right there. Good. So I'm going to cover mine. And then should I go or do you want to go? You can go. Okay. So I've got I will. I'm going to put that together. What do we get? All. All. Very good. Let me see if I've got all. Nope. I don't have it. Now it's your turn. Okay. She is. Okay, when we put she is together to make a contraction, what do we get? She's. Okay, let's see if we have that on our board. I do. 
You do? Can check some bingo. You got them all filled up, yay, high five! It looks like Isla has the hang of it, and so do these parents. See, it can be fun and easy to use these activities to help your children keep growing their reading skills. Now it's your turn. We're challenging you to complete 10 of our activities at home with your children. Even better, record your family playing and share it on social media using the hashtag at home with FCRR to encourage your friends with young learners to join in the fun. Have a wonderful summer.